Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Freya. May the world be filled with the light of Lord Alcantara. Today I would like to talk about this book of the Master Ryuho Ogawa, The Two Eightfold Path. The Two Eightfold Path. And this is a strong expression of the Buddha consciousness in Master Ogawa's soul. And it is full, it is full of wisdom of the Buddha's soul. The Eightfold Path refers to the Eight Right Path and the Eight Points of the Self-Reflection. That is Right View, Right Thought, Right Speech, Right Action, Right Living, Right Effort, Right Will, and Right Meditation. These Eight, eight Points of the Self-Reflection. If we carefully examine each of these points and one by one in our hearts, we can regain our connection with the heavenly world. We can purify our mind and feel the vibration of the heavenly world. And Master Ogawa gives us the three points, three reasons why it is important to spread this true eightfold path in this modern age. The first one is that the eightfold path preached by Buddha in 2,500 2, 2, years ago uh, has been interpreted very differently by different people over the years. So actually no one knows what Buddha's original teaching was. And no one knows today what Buddha meant about his teachings in the true meaning. So only Master Okawa, the reincarnation of Buddha, knows it. That is why Master Okawa teaches us the two eightfold path and also adding practicality to facilitate the practice of the eightfold path in the modern society. Okay, and secondly, the two eightfold path is a training, soul training spiritual training for our souls. We are born in this world to improve our souls. That is the aim of our birth on this earth. So in this world, there are various difficult, painful experiences, but only when we overcome them, our soul shines and our soul can reach the higher level of the heavenly world. And Master Okawa has given us the true eightfold path so that when we encounter those various incidents in our lives, we can remove the clouds over, over our mind and cleaning up and we can begin to walk towards a future future, bright future. So I think this is the weapon of light with which we must go on the journey of our lives. This is very important weapon of the, of the light. And thirdly, uh, it's because the realization of utopia begins with the harmony of each, each of our hearts or mind. It begins with the calmness of our mind. When we use the two eightfold path 
to utopianize our mind, it means we are also illuminating the world itself. Without harmony in our minds, the world will not suddenly improve. It begins from our mind. So let us refine our own hearts with the true noble eightfold path. It's not because of other people. It's not because of the environment. It depends on our mind. Everything. Everything starts from it. And finally, uh, I would like to share Master Okawa's important messages from the True Eightfold Path. Please write up the places where each of you are located as you bear your own challenges and problems. I would like you to know that the way of kindle your light is to simply follow the true eightfold path. I hope that through the practice of the true eightfold path, you can light the wick of your candle of your lamp. It is the responsibility of each of you to kindle your light. It is each person's job to let your lamp shine. I will teach you how to light a fire, but it is you who has to set it a place. If there is no flame, it is probably because you are not trying to start a fire. The act of starting a flame is nothing but making efforts at self-innovation. Thank you very much, Master Riho Okawa. Self-transformation, self-innovation is the key to the elevation of our, of our soul and the creation of utopia on earth. Master Okawa preaches various teachings, publishes many books, and creates many films and musics. So we have lots of treasures around us. So how we receive them, how we interpret them, and how we transform ourselves depends on each one of us. That is why I, want, I would like everyone to read this book, Heal Them, The Two Eightfold Path, and put it Put it into practice every day. I will surely be of it will surely be of great help to us to enlighten the world and create utopia, of course, in co cooperation with angels in the heavenly world. Let's keep practicing together, and now uh, let us recite today's prayer. Lo El Cantare, Master Riho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the two words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The two words spoken by Buddha, 
Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy. And Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other and there appears Buddha Land. Buddha Land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is the symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the two words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The two words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the two words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now hear, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another, that world is utopia. All of us can be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. 
Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord, our Lord, our Father. Our Lord El Kantari, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shoot of courage. Every day may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this I give my thanks. Thank you very much for joining everyone. Have a wonderful day.